Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I'm gonna to share with you my top five favorite features of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Now the A54 5G is a mid-range phone from Samsung. It's brand new and this thing acts and feels and packed just like a flagship Samsung device. So first off, the one I wanna talk about is one that a lot of people do miss and that is the expandable storage. Now on the very top where you have your slot for your SIM card, on the opposite end is where you will be able to place your micro SD card expandable up to one terabyte. So for anybody who misses having not only just, you know, internal storage of 128 gigs with six gigs of RAM with a nice display, everything like that, you and you miss that micro SD card, now you do have the slot that you can place it in. And it's all built into one, which makes it very easy. Feature number two that I love is inside of the camera. I didn't see this in any other Samsung Galaxy devices, and it's a shooting mode that is called fun. So especially for anybody who is into, let's say Snapchat, or if you have a child, this is gonna be one that you guys are gonna love. So if you were to use this with the rear facing camera, the front facing camera, these are all different filters that you're able to use. They all have their names. These are all coming from Snapchat themselves. You know, I'm just placing this on the table, so I'm not really able to see a whole bunch of them. I can show you a couple examples of some of the pictures that we took, but as you go through, you know, it's gonna show you some of these cool things. And then you also have the search button if you wanted to search more on Snapchat. These are just some of the suggestions. And then you can also see more on Snapchat itself. Now, if I go inside of the gallery, if I wanna show you just a couple of, ex of examples of what this kind of looked like. So here was this one right here, little Elliot, a little uh, Snapchat filter right there. Here's another one that's actually pretty fun as well. So I took a couple of them, not too many. I just mostly wanted to test it out, make sure that they looked good. And I mean, they really do look good, especially when you zoom in, take a look at that. Pretty cool. So again, a fun, you know, shooting mode inside of the, the camera. And it was just sitting right here. I didn't have to go inside of more to pull it out. Feature number three. Now this is going to come in handy if you have a child or if you have any nieces and nephews. And I do believe that this is very underrated. This is child's mode. Sometimes if you give your phone to your child, they could be two, they could be three, they could be four. They're going through your phone, deleting your images, going through your camera, taking a bunch of pictures. And for them, it might not be fun. This one does have some effects, you know, similar to what we're kind of talking about with some of the Snapchat stuff. Again, Again, you can do this with photo, video, front camera, rear camera, doesn't matter what it is. You have a bunch of these really cool things that you're able to do. It changes the way that your face looks. Uh, you can also put on masks. You also have some of these ones over here. You can put on like hats. You can put on uh, things that goes on your face. You know, it's, it's pretty fun, especially for children themselves. Uh, and as they take pictures with this, then it's gonna be stored inside of their gallery. So they have basically my camera, my gallery. They can even have phone, but my three-year-old doesn't need it at all. And then you have a bunch of preloaded games here. And then if you swipe over, you're able to take a look at more options. So actually there is some more picks. So Leo has some picks. I downloaded one of them. There's two more I could take a look at. Uh, we also have some more picks from this one. I didn't download these ones. We didn't get too far into this because there are a few of them that you know has been keeping them you know pretty busy. So this is actually all of the picks. And then when you scroll down, you can take a look at you know my apps. You can take a look at some more details. You can see what is being used. So if I was to move on over just to kind of show you what one of these kind of looks like. So here's like the Duplo Disney. Move this one on over. This is kind of a fun way that you can play with a little bit of Legos and a couple different sceneries. So let me show you what this kind of looks like. And what I like about this the most is that you're getting these little kid applications from Samsung themselves. And if you ever download any other little third-party apps from the Play Store, they are not fun. Uh, they also have a bunch of ads, and so I'm not really too fond of that. This one does not give you any ads at all. So, you know, you can play around, you can tap, you can tell them, you know, kind of where to go. If I tap on this chair, he's gonna come on over, he's gonna sit here. You know, he could probably start fishing as well. So there's a bunch of things that you're able to do. I think I can even like take Pluto, put him to the very top. I don't know what's gonna happen. There we go. So it's a lot of really cool things. It's very interactive. You know, you got different Legos, you can build some things. And so I'm not gonna go too far into this one in that one game, but there's a lot of really cool things. So let's say that we move on back again, we're gonna quit. I wanna show you that there's also like an adult, you know, area that you can take a look at. So on the very top, you can even change the wallpaper. Here's the parental controls. If we go inside of here, you do have to use your, you know, uh, security or biometrics, whatever the case. 
and you could do a screen time. So if you only want them to play for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can set a bedtime. Uh, you can see who they've recently contacted. You can see like the kids' creations. You can take a look at all the applications. You know, you can move over contacts, media, and music. So if you want them to call you, you can put your contact in here. When they go inside of their phone, then they can get a hold of you, which, uh, you know, again, it, it kind of depends on whose phone they're using and whose phone number you put in there. But kids mode is very cool. They, they also can't get out of it and mess with your phone. You would actually have to go to the very top, close out of it, use biometrics, pin, whatever the case, to get out of kids mode. So if you haven't played with it lately and you have kids, nieces and nephews, definitely take a look at it so you don't have to go through the play store and get all those games with all those ads and then they get out of the game they get inside of an ad they're on another website they might be buying something uh, so yeah i think kids mode is very underrated the next feature is just talking about the phone itself a 450 dollars mid-range phone it looks acts feels like a flagship device. You basically have your full HD plus display. You will also have a 100 and turn, uh, 120 hertz refresh rate. So you're not gonna have that stuck at that 60 hertz rate. So 120 making everything super, super smooth. You also have some very nice cameras that's on here. I, I completely did a full review of this. I talked about every single spec known to man on this phone. I'll also place that video below the, vi or I'll place that video inside the description below if you would like to take a look at everything. But when you take a look at the look, the feel, the cameras, the battery, I mean, it's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with a full HD plus display, which is going to last you a very long time. Even though it has the Exynos processor in there, I did not have any issues. I know a few people wrote that there would be problems with heat. I've never gotten this phone hot. I've had it for four or five days. I think it's five days now. No problems. I've played Pokemon Go, which is a very battery draining application. I did this with it being super bright outside, even with my hot hotspot turned on, powering my other device with music playing, no problems, didn't get warmer than my hand. So just by taking a look at the price and all the features you get, you really can't beat it, uh, especially at half of the price of, let's say, just the Galaxy S23. If you take a look at all the other A devices like the A71 or the A12 or any of those, this thing is just a champ. And then there's one that's built inside of the digital well-being that I didn't even see until now. So I don't know if it's just new on this phone or I didn't go back inside my digital well-being on some of my other devices. But one of the really cool things inside of here that I also think is very funny is walking monitor. So it's the screen time while walking, which you can tell obviously if you're playing Pokemon Go and you're catching some Pokemons and stuff, the screen's gonna be on, but it's actually very funny to see what you are doing while, you know, while your display is on and it's gonna let you know how much you've been walking. So if you are working or you're at school and you're noticing you got you know a bunch of minutes uh, as you are walking, you might want to get off of your phone, look around, see what you're doing, see who's around you. Make sure you're not walking into a random pond in the middle of a hotel. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool inside of the digital well-being uh, walking monitor, keeping track of your time, looking at your phone when you should be looking around, especially busy streets, New York, Chicago, and everything else. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Hopefully you guys like those five features as well. Let me know if you guys have the Galaxy A54. If you are interested, I'll be placing Samsung exclusive links, official links below the video inside the description for the A54, taking you directly over into Samsung. But again, I hope you appreciated the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.